Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you all for stopping by. So today we're gonna do some mac and cheese. This mac and cheese I don't have on my channel. I have like a variety of different kinds, ones with eggs, ones with a roux. But today we're gonna do one with no eggs, no roux. This is going to be absolutely delicious. But before we get started, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button, share, like, and leave a comment down below. Let's jump right in. Okay guys, so this mac and cheese recipe is going to be super simple and easy with limited ingredients. I have three cheese here, sharp cheddar, Monterey Jack, smoked Gouda. Use any cheese of your choice. I have some evaporated milk, some elbows, macaroni, and I'll be using this cheddar cheese soup. Don't knock it till you try it, it's delicious. I have garlic and onion powder, all-purpose seasoning, and some black pepper. So to a pot of water, I've added some salt, and then we will add our noodles. Mix well and allow to boil until it's al dente. While the noodles are hot, you want to add about 2 tablespoons of butter, mix that well and set aside. Next, we'll be melting our cheese. So we will add the milk to a pot and let it simmer on low heat. Once it starts to simmer, you want to add your cheese and you want to stir until the cheese are fully melted. Like I said, I'm using no roux and no eggs but I prefer to have the cheese melted before adding it. Now you can add your cheese and your milk as it is without melting it first, but you know, it's just a matter of choice and what you prefer. So once the cheese is nice and melted, you wanna add your seasoning in here, mix that well, and then we will take this off the heat and just get ready to assemble our mac and cheese. So now you want to add that cheddar cheese soup to the macaroni noodles and mix the combine. Now I saw this on TikTok. I saw the girlies using the cheddar cheese soup and I said, you know what? That looks interesting. I have to try it. And what do you know? It did not disappoint. It was very, very delicious in here. And like you see me adding my cheese mixture, you just add that, mix it well. And that's basically it, guys. That's the recipe simple easy but it wasn't lacking in taste flavor or anything it was very delicious so now you want to transfer this to a greased baking dish and we're going to top it with some extra cheese and place it in a 400 degree oven uncovered for about 25 to 30 minutes now the last five minutes you can set your oven on broil just to get a nice crispy golden brown top but that's it guys very simple after about 30 minutes the mac and cheese is done and it looks absolutely divine now the difference between a firm mac and cheese and a runny mac and cheese is simply timing the time that you decide to dig in and I just wanted to show you that I dig into this right away and you see it's more soft it's more runny but after I allow it to set it became nice and firm and this is how I like my mac and cheese so yeah I hope you all give this recipe a try if you enjoyed the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up share it and leave a comment down below i will leave my ingredients and measurements down in the description box and i'll see you all next time thank you for watching and enjoy